Welcome to Recreational Power Sports, where we're going to show you how the Flowtorque 2 prop hub system fits into the propellers. So if you're at home right now and you're about to change your props since about year 2000 now and newer, all the uh, props come blank now with no longer pressed in rubber hub in them, which means they're all interchangeable. So the beautiful thing about Mercury is Mercury Flowtorque 2 hub kit comes with all these nifty little parts in here. So basically, 70 horsepower, shows right in the front, 70 horsepower to all Merc Cruisers, even all V6s, all need this hub kit. And you get a prop nut, you get the locking keeper, you get the insert, you get the bushing, which is your breakable item, and a new thrust washer. The thrust washer would go on your prop shaft first, and it is what locks into your prop in the back and seats nice and solid in there. When it seats down in here nice and pretty, the main thing is is that you get this bushing seated all the way into the prop so this thrust washer is seated nicely in there. If not, it's not going together properly. So, one of the first things we do is when you're at home and you take your, your prop off of your boat, take it off and put it down in front of you like this. Take your keeper, take this little insert here, turn it, and I want you to take a rubber mallet like we have one just hiding right, right, you know, right outside your back door and whack it. That will pop out this bushing. Inspect this bushing to see if there's any fractures, any cracks, if this thing is damaged, because you don't want to put a damaged one back into your boat. It's so right back into your prop. Once you have this out and you have your, all your little parts in front of you, you can take your high five and we're going to take the bushing. We're going to slide it in like that. We're going to give it a whack. Then we're going to take our thrust washer off our boat and we're going to make sure we can countersink this lip into the propeller like this and we're just going to countersink it. So I call this my installer tool. Now we put this back on the prop shaft, put your prop back on, slide your insert into the bushing and then after that we're on the prop, we're actually on the boat. You have your keeper, your locking keeper, very important. If you don't put that on and you hammer the motor in reverse, Without locking up these tabs, if you don't lock up those tabs, the prop will just unscrew itself off the, uh, unscrew the nut off your boat and your, and your prop will go out in the middle of the lake and you'll lose it. So in reverse, those tabs have got to be locked up tight. This is your Flow Torque 2 Hub Kit installation guide. Thank you very much.